Tonight we have a real test for Matt Eberflus and Luke Getze. What's up guys, Swift here previewing tonight's matchup between the Bears and Commanders. First off, Tevin Jenkins is back. The Bears have released Nathan Peterman and added Tev to the active roster. He should play tonight. It is possible that these guys could rotate Tev again like they did last year though, but Tev is back. This is great news for the offensive line. Peterman will most likely be back on the practice squad tomorrow, but it means we have two QBs for tonight, Fields and Bajan. At 0-4 and fresh off blowing a 21-point lead, the Bears now travel to Washington to face one of the best defensive lines in the entire league. The Commanders have 8.5 sacks so far this year and feature four first-round picks on the defensive line. Chase Young, Montez Sweat, Jonathan Allen, and Deron Payne. They are also coached by Ron Rivera and Jack Del Rio, two well-respected defensive coaches, with Eric Bieniemy running the offense. The Commanders' defensive line will be the toughest test of the season for our offensive front. Protecting Justin Fields tonight is key. On the other side of the ball, though, Sam Howell has been sacked more than any other quarterback in the entire NFL, 23 times already. Our defense only has two sacks this season, one by Ngakwe and half a sack for Zach Pickens and D-Rob. This is a real chance for our defensive line to make some noise. It's my key to the game. Especially with our secondary being so beat up, we really need to get after Sam Howe and have an effective pass rush tonight. Jalen Johnson, Kyler Gordon, and Eddie Jackson are all out tonight. And on top of that, Jaquan Brisker is now questionable after tweaking his hamstring in practice this week. I was trying to wait to get word if he was going to play tonight, but as of this video, no word yet. This secondary is hurting bad, and the mini bye week will hopefully get us healthy, but tonight they will be tested, making the pass rush even more important. And then to the offense, after finally getting going against the Broncos last week, Luke Getze has to show that it wasn't a fluke and have a good game plan tonight. He needs to get Justin Fields into a rhythm again. Also, it's on the coaches to not let this locker room dwell on blowing a 21-point lead against the Broncos or the fact that this team hasn't won in an entire year. With three days of rest between games and both teams coming off last second losses, the Commanders lost in overtime and the Bears lost by three late. Both teams are coming off tough losses on a short week. It's up to the coaches to get these guys ready without much practice and get them focused on tonight's game. They have to have maturity and be able to put Sunday's losses behind them. The Bears are trying to put a lot of losses behind them and break a record-breaking 14-game losing streak. The Commanders are 2-2 two and two and looking to wash the taste of their overtime loss away. If we get blown out tonight, it's just a further indictment on Matt Eberflus and this coaching staff. If he wants to keep his job, this team has to compete and play smart tonight. I still think the odds of Eberflus being fired midseason, no matter what happens, are pretty slim to none. But even I have to admit, he needs these guys to come out with some fire tonight. If not, this team is going to be 0-5 with 10 days and a mini bye week to reflect on it. Stay tuned, guys. I will probably be live for the game tonight, but I haven't decided 100% yet. Hit that like button for me. Stay tuned, and until next time, bear down. Hey, you right, Jay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, good work today, baby. Let's keep going. Here we go. Bears on three. One, two, three. Hey.